Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Fucking hell, his car is solid. <laughs> Just bounced off him. <gasps> oh! Da 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 da! Da da da! <laughs> that didn't work out. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is part three. Yeah, part three of L.A. Noir. Uh, we left off with this car that's been abandoned in the middle of this park thing. And we spoke to that grumpy old bastard sat on the step there. Um, and, hey, I looked at that baseball bat and it had nothing to do with the investigation, sir. Um, what else have I got to look at? Um, oh, Spanner. I've got to get rid of these hints, I think. But they do help me. Combination wrench. Mm. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Property of Dewey Bros. Okay. Well, okay. Um, what else is there? Oh, she looks like she's seen some shit. What are you... What are you, um... I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. You are talking without your mouth moving. Um, well, I found another clue anyway, because we were supposed to call this in. Um, right, let's call the uh, lady. Let's call her up, see what she's got to say. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Sweet. Thanks for your help. Awesome. That's because I found that thing. Right. Where's my partner? Come on, Robin. Where is he? Is he wandering off? I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. Let's get in the car quick. Let's fuck off before he sees me. You're walking home, pal. You're walking home. Uh, Dewey Bros dealership. Where is he? Oh, come on, mate. I do need him, to be fair. I'm not going to leave him. Right. Ooh. I want to have a look at my map. I can't remember how you look at your map. Map. Right. Where is it far? The map is pretty big on this game. Pretty damn big. Uh, okay. So I'm going to turn around and head down. Actually, no, I'm going to carry on going down here. Follow all the way down. Get to 6th Street and turn right. That's fine. Follow it down. Whoa! Stop making stand castles in the middle of the street. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even We're si All right, coming up to fifth. In this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Right, like sixth street. Ten. No. No, can't be asked. I want to get to this. I want to get to this um, place. I want to find out where this wrench comes from. Here we are. <laughs> Expert driving there. Root. Oh, I love root beer. I love root beer. There was one in Asda. You should. Oh, it's so nice. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. <laughs> well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> no. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. 
Mm. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Right, let's follow you. Oh, let's speak to the mechanic. He'll, he'll know. I, I think this guy's too gullible. I don't think anyone else... I think everyone's going to be, like, pulling the wool over this guy's eyes. In here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Right. You sure you guys it was a red, it was a red one. A car? Huh? No, shut Maybe up. A used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Uh, that one. No. Goes there. Oh, sorry. That's there. Not right. Yes, I know it's not right. That one goes. No, it's that one there at the top. I know it is. It's, his name's Gabriel Diagalagalo, uh, whatever his name is. I can't pronounce it. That one goes there. Yeah, this is very uh, top. And one you left. go there. Right, so Gabriel D. Gabriel Delgado. Gardo. A three quarter. That's three quarter inch as well. Is that is that Gabriel down there? Gabriel. Get your ass up. Ideas. <laughs> it's just working and we're looking at his shit. <laughs> Let me just look at your spark plug, mate. That's not a euphemism. I'm not going to pull his trousers down while he's under the car. <laughs> or could I? <laughs> oh, shit. No, 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 no. Been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Ooh. Oh. There was no plates on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll keep jumping to conclusions there. Um, okay, so his name's Gabriel... Delgado, Delgado, Delgato, I think. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? What's that on the floor there? That? Nah, it's just a file. Nah. Haven't given me anything to go on. I think. I think we're all right. I think. John, I can't remember this mission at all. Uh, is there anything else in here? Hmm. People. Gabriel Delgado. Gardo. Okay, so, fair enough. I think we're alright. I think we've just got to speak to this guy. Do you know what I mean? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Right. Whereabouts of Delgado? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. You do know, because he works here. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Mm, twat. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. It's even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Hmm. Slightly racist. I feel like he's telling the truth. Oh, That's fuck. It. Like I said, the workshop's too close fuck. to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. Oh, dickhead. Keeping an eye on you, Dewey. And spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Ah! Uh, more time over the Packard belts. Let's head back to the empty lot. What? Head back to the empty lot? No, no. We're going to. We're going to. F oh shit! No, yeah, we we'll probably do have to actually. Ah! Let's head back to the empty lot. No, we don't. No, I want to go here. I want to. I want to. I want to see where this guy is. I want, to, I, want to, I want to talk to him. Sorry. Ah! Fuck! He lives up there. How do I get up there? Ah! Do you know what? I'm getting out here. Take the next right. Nope. I am going up the stairs because I'm. 
Look! Oh, it's so cool that they actually use the steps. It's okay. He sat on that. What? <laughs> Didn't park there. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. Oh yeah, it's. So far, Archangel hasn't already flown. It's them sat on the wall, isn't it? There's no... Oh, there's going to be some fighting, I reckon. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh. Sorry. Me up to and get some <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry about that, pal. Right. Oh, is it a, like a block of flat? Is it like a flat? A house turned into flats? Well, apartments. Um, Gabriel Delgado. Here he is. Apartment three. Apartment three. Cool. Where's three? Two. He's upstairs then. Um, three. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? <laughs> yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Ooh. Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Cool. Oh, Jesus. Imagine that now. That wouldn't be happening. So how far along are you? Oh my God! What a cheeky bastard! Oh yeah, shit. Okay, she might right. be pregnant. So how's it going to be when you go into labor? Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. Where is he? What's that on the floor? Incidental. No, nothing. Okay. Um, cigar, maybe. It doesn't appear to be connected. No, maybe. I doubt that. Unless that was in the car. Probably nothing. New. No. Okie dokie. Okay, maybe not. Right, let's check the other rooms. I don't feel like... Is that him? That's him. Okay, that's him. Fair enough. The kettle's boiling. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? Should have cleared up. Yeah, you, yeah. We. She's lying. She's lying. She is. What's that in the fridge? I know. I know. No, 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 no. Okay. Breakfast for two. Right. We all we got to do is get out of there. Where he is. You really ought to take more time over the Packard Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Oh, for fuck's sake! Not now. We, we will. You we really will. ought to take more time over the Packard Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Right. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? I'm going to use my intuition here because I don't know if she's doubting or don't know. Okay, she's telling the truth. She's not looking away. He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Okay. Okay, so he, he did steal it then. He did steal it. Right. Okay. I still haven't... I still haven't got all the clues here. Oh. Right. Okay, I didn't go out so Who's that? Hey, who are you staring at, pal? Oh, 
the garage. Oh, look, the garage. Oh, that's going to be a treasure trove, I reckon. If he's got anything dodgy, it's going to be in there, surely. Let's have a little look. Right. Oh, look. <gasps> That's got to be it. Is that it? No, there's more. Okay. I can tell you are lying. Your lips are moving. Uh, no, you're, you're, I'm not. Why am I a liar? I haven't lied. I am what next? investigating. You really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. <sighs> head back to the empty lot. Oh, sake. All right. All right. I'm going to do that then. Let's head back to the empty lot. I'll skip it to there, all right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My damn maniac. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My doors have come off. A siren, Phelps. Can we try to spare the general population, please? Right. On the way here, I hit someone. Hmm. Well, we're back. We're back. No, 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 no. Oh, the tyres. The tyres. It's the same tyres as he's got on his fucking thing. Yeah. The tyres, the t wheels, look. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. The fuck? But the wheel. It must have taken the flag. Oh, uh, it, it, it didn't save what I did before. That's why. I think. Yeah, registration plate. Yeah. Yeah, and the wheel. Right, we've got to go back to his house because we got a lot of stuff that he's got. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Cool. I think we've got everything, haven't we? Surely. Shit. Is that everything? Oh, for God's sake. I'll skip this. Oswald Jacobs. <clears throat> right. So, I've just done the interview of him again. Got four out of four correct like in the last video. Because I, I, did I did that interview in the last video. Um, that's why I skipped all that in this one. But I actually needed to do it all again. Um, so, you know, if you watch the last one, you'll see it. You'll see what I've done. Um, but I will just keep this in just to show you. So, um. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Sweet. We've got a lot of clues, actually. William Dewey. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Yeah, we've already looked. We've already spoke to him. Sweet. So, locations. We've already been to Dewey's. Apparently, this isn't done here. But we might have enough. We might have enough. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's 
that school officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Ah. Uh -huh. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Oh. Did you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks, ma'am. Right, okay. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll cool. read your report back at the station. Right, let's go to the police station. We might have to go back to Gardo's residence, because he's got them tyres. He's got them wheels lit on, in the garage. But I've done it all back to the front. But it's actually, I think it's made possibly the investigation easier. I don't know. Oh shit. I'm on side. Come on. Where have we got to go again? Police station. Come on, mate. Let's go. Oh, my, my doors are back on. <laughs> Oh, cool, it's only here. Whoa! I'm so sorry. Where? Oh. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this. He's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? Uh. Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. Right. Let's have a chat with him. Let's have a chat. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? Yes. I'm Detective Phelps and this is Detective Tukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? All right. I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldess. Counsel General. Mm. I insist on my full title. No, you're a dickhead. That's what it is. Uh, Packard purchase history. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place. Uh, Dewey Brothers, by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. I think that's true, isn't it? Do we, brothers? Oh, I feel like he's down. Oh, mm. oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Bought a Packard? Yes! Fellas. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. Oh, Jesus. William Dewey offered me a substantial substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Cool, this is, this is just... Oh. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. It must have been. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. Um, is he looking about? Oh, you give me the you get. Oh, you have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect. Disgruntled boy from the car dealership. Yes. Do you have a name for this kid? Gabriel. Yeah. Like the archangel. We knew it. I have no surname. We knew it. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run in with him? Mechanical. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. 
We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. Are you telling the truth? You look like you're... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So oh, Consul shit. General gets in a public row with a junior car mechanic. You expect me to believe that that's all that happened? I expect you to draw your own conclusions and to discontinue this aggressive behavior. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, two out for each. Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty sound, isn't it? He, he's that uh, this this little kid, but the thing he's to blame as well. He's because he's finished with oh. Valdez. Thank God, I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. <laughs> cool. Right. We gotta go back to his residence because I think Yes, the Delgato's residence. Nice. Right, let's head there. Set his destination. Sweet! Right. Listen now, this kid. He's going down. Um I'll go have a look at my map. So, I'm going to turn around, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, I knew I should have driven. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Right. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, I do drive a little bit like a maniac on this, I've got to say. Well, I've already hit a human. Careful, bro. What? Right. Let's go back in there. We've got some more digging. Hiya. I just chat with you again, I think. I can tell you are lying. Actually, no. Because. I need to go into the garage because there's the car, the wheels. He's got the wheels. What else did he have? The plates. There they are. Oh. There they are. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Yeah. And the plates. That's it. Sweet. I think that's it, innit? I think. Well, he's in here now. But what else? That's it, innit? A lot of stolen shite. Um, I think... Yeah, right. Let's go have a chat with her. Lady, I've got some fucking. I need to have a chat with you. Oh. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Mm. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. But I'm going to use my intuition because I don't know if it's a doubt or a lie. Because there is, it is, that is a lie. Well, it could be a lie because there's double toast on the table. Double toast. But it could be someone else's. So I could doubt it. So I'm going to remove an answer. Oh, that didn't fucking help, did it? At all. Oh, Anna, for fuck's sake. Do you want to go to jail? Do you want your baby to be born in jail? He was here. He comes and goes. I can't control him. Fuck. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. 
It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You are bullshit lying. Oh my god, man, this is so hard. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? Shit. Um, breakfast plates? <laughs> Oh my god, this is so hard. So much here. Looks like I was mistaken. Oh, fuck. I'm going to use intuition again. I'm really struggling on this one. Ah, yes, doubt. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. All right. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We'll put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. Fuck that sake. sounds like a street race to me. I'll fucking do a street. You're joking, aren't you? We're gonna do a street race. Yeah, that was hard. I, I don't know. The first one I could have got because that was the breakfast, wasn't it? But um, the second one, I didn't. I don't know because I was like, mm, I am the cop. Illegal street race. Let's get to it. We've got to somehow win it with my driving skills. <laughs> it's not going to work out too well. Don't you what think? What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Oh! Say. As we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling the mother. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. <gasps> okay, that, that, was, that was bad. That was bad. That was a bad crash, that was. I'm really sorry, pal. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Street race. I hope it's not too far. It's just it was like the steering, it's not like the best, but obviously it wouldn't be, would it? It was back in the day they weren't. I didn't have the best handling. Oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, uh, we, yeah, chasing them off the road, I reckon. There's the red Ford. That's still got him right there. Let's get him. Let's get him. Shit. Here we go. Quick, they're getting away. Oh, this is so cool. Forty-seven, requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. I'm furious and I'm fast. Illegal street race. Oh, I might have just killed someone. He might be dead, fully Get dead. Away. He might fully be dead, that man. Oh! Fuck! No! No, 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 no! Oh, shit! I tried to swing and hit him, but I've missed. Right, sirens are coming off. Oh, that, that worked out well. Forget the others. I don't want to know where I am. Oh shit. My bonnet, my bonnet's come off. 
Oh no! Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's really bad. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. All right. I'm trying, bro. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. Fucking hell! His car is solid. <laughs> Just bounced off him. <gasps> oh! Da 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 da! Oh! Uh, da da da! <laughs> that didn't work out. I tried to do a superhero like jump, but it fucking was crap. Lay into his wheel, RC. Come on! Oh, I'm so shit at this. Crap! Damn it, Cole! Hold it steady. Here we go. Here we go. Come here, little shit. Ah! Oh, that's got an... Oh. Yes. Get out. Oi. Oi. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Stop. Fuck you, puto. You should speak to the maricón. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. We got him. We got him, guys. We got him. You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that. That's textbook policing and we need more of it in this department. Sick. There you go, textbook policing. You can't ask more than that, can you? Pretty damn good. Oh, look, injuries. I bet I've killed someone. Ah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! <laughs> Final inspection before liberty. Good job, Kelso. somewhere gentlemen full inspection it had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend Kelso this carbine the four is dirty no it isn't are you arguing with me Kelso Do what you need to do sergeant you know the boar is immaculate weekend Liberty canceled uh, two-day field drill clean this rifle no do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Oh, Savage. Oh shit. A hit and run. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my saddle. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Hit and run vehicle. But, you're going to have to watch that in the next episode of L.A. Noir. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was another case done. We're doing really well in the police force. We are a force to be reckoned with. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. If you are enjoying this, it would be great for me to hear. And I'll see you guys in the next video.